Hello, man. Uh, item number eight, speed bump installation. Discuss allowing ICISD to add more mm -hmm. rubber speed bumps on 4th Street, 3rd Street, and Juanita Street. And I believe we have Mr. or Dr. D and Chad Coons present. Okay, as always, thank you for serving. Appreciate it. Um, and uh, the uh, is issue here is um, I had. Uh, First of all, let me back up a step. Uh, appreciate uh, uh, Ms. Wardlaw and uh, Bill and Aubrey uh, coming out on site and uh, kind of surveying and looking at these uh, at these issues with me. Um, a couple of weeks ago, apologize for not being here at the last board meeting, but we had a board meeting too, so <laughs> that's uh, that's the way that goes sometimes. Uh, what we are proposing is. Um, um, if you can uh, picture, I have given uh, Bill and uh, Aubrey um, a, uh, a diagram there. Uh, kind of working from uh, kind of working from west to east in between Fifth Street that uh, runs, I guess, north and south in front of the daycare, coming off of Fifth Street back to Fourth Street. Uh, the school has uh, repaved. All of that uh, Juanita Street looks very, very nice, uh, and uh, I think that's going to help us a great deal uh, with uh, vehicular traffic and bus incoming bus traffic for a number of events and everything else. Um, we're the first of four speed bumps that we're proposing to put in uh, would run across uh, Juanita Street, basically in between the uh, set of eight tennis courts about halfway down between fifth and fourth um, in between uh, the set of eight tennis courts and where Mr. Harkey's property is, okay? Uh, the second one would be as you would be coming east and then turning back north up on, uh, up on 4th Street um, to install a second speed bump there in between the current existing speed bump and the loading dock ramp to the new Hornet gym. Okay, those would kind of serve uh, the incoming and outgoing traffic, uh, the tennis courts, the new gym, the uh, cafeteria, auditorium, everything kind of on that end of the school complex. Uh, the second set of two um, speed bumps that we are proposing um, is um, if you can picture the elementary school kind of facing east uh, where mom picked up uh, or parent picked up to be politically correct now. Uh, <laughs> and Bill and I had that discussion the other day too. Uh, uh, our parent pickup uh, basically comes from north to south on uh, 3rd Street uh, and, and drop off in the morning. Uh, what we're proposing is uh, to place a speed bump um, across the road um, in between uh, the end of the elementary school and where the Powell's house lives now, right now, which would be approximately halfway uh, into the school area there on Third Street, coming from north to south on Third Street. And the fourth of the four speed bumps would be as you're turning back east, um, basically what would be in between the pre-K building, uh, the pre-K modular building, and the band hall. And of course, uh, safety is our number one issue concern in that area. Uh, I feel like that would uh, slow down the speeding and uh, kind of uh, curtail some of that, uh, hopefully anyway. Um, speed bumps would be uh, um, purchased, installed, uh, everything else at the school's expense as, as we did on uh, the 180 Street construction also. So, um, that is our, uh, that is our uh, proposal to the council. Realize those are uh, city streets. Would like to uh, comment uh, that uh, I would venture to say easily 95 plus percent of the vehicular traffic on those roads are basically school use. Uh, either extracurricular events, uh, parent drop off and pick up, um, 
coming in and out. So be glad to entertain any questions or comments from one, one of our board members, Mr. Coots, is here also. Yes, ma'am. Right, right across from the elementary, um, I guess that's Third Street. Um, right there, right there. And, and where? Right in front of the elementary. On the drop off. We do from time to time. Our biggest uh, concern is at drop off time and uh, uh, the congestion and the traffic and some people coming through wanting to go out around a person in front of them and what have you. Uh, we've had some issues uh, um, uh, with uh, parents getting there a little bit late, you know, we try to have them there by 7.45, they get there at 7.50, oh, I'm running late, and psh, in there. So we would hope that would curtail that. Uh, but yes, ma'am, we do, uh, I'm up there all hours of the day and night, and I can assure you there's some, there's some uh, definite excess of the speed limits along in there. Of course, school zones are typically, you try to, stay about 15 miles an hour, but that doesn't always happen. So that's our, uh, that's our objective on, on those. And uh, Bill and I were talking when he came out, uh, unbeknownst to me before my time, but there is already one speed bump um, coming from north to south there on 4th Street, um, where, the, where the tennis courts are, uh, kind of at the foot of the... Uh, of the food service building. And that does, uh, I can tell you, that that helps a little bit. Even if they have to slow down and uh, try to avoid it and go out around, at least it kind of curtails it a little bit. So. That was, that was a, a couple that I had was, uh, I guess <coughs> for Harkey, it's right there in front of his driveway, but if we go any closer to the school, it's kind of a moot point and putting one there, right? To fix the purpose? I yeah. think so, probably. And then uh, we've had people opposed to speed bumps due to now nah, people are just going to go around them. What is your, what's your width on that? Well, well uh, there, there uh, is a very good question. They're, they're six to eight feet in length each. And um, our, our thought pro my, my thought process was to put three. Three of them. So you're up to 24? Yes, uh, approximately 24 feet. That would basically, hopefully, go from edge of the road to edge of the road. Okay. Okay. And, you know, uh, we were kind of chatting a little bit outside a while ago, um, especially at the, at the parent pickup, um, it would uh, all but um, circumvent anybody going around at least to the right side as they're coming in because drop off and pick up time all the elementary right. teachers are the parked teachers, there already right. so it's going to be next to impossible to go to the right. right and so if we put you know three to four there they would really be almost <coughs> going into the palace property the right there in order to get around right that. <laughs> right that's a tight fit so yeah. One thing that I'd like to just add, it's all right, it, it's not just during pickup and drop off because we have kids that come and go across that road during school hours. And so it's also people coming through during the daytime uh, that if they're just coming through there at- Well, my, my thing is when you're going through there, you gotta make a sharp right turn anyway. So I didn't see where you're getting Speed going before you got turned. It's, so it's a dead end right there. I remember right. trying to see how fast I could pick my speed back up after coming around the corner. <laughs> yeah, I, I personally was dropping one of my kids off and witness a parent running late and coming across around me pretty fast. And so that kind of that's where it clicked in my head. We got we got to look at this. So. The deputies have a patrol hat? <laughs> there was one there. Sorry, there sorry. was one patrolling that's, that's on. That's job. I mean, I'm just saying. There was one patrolling on uh, um, Thursday, Thursday afternoon. We had a award ceremony, and I was leaving, and I followed him. He went all the way around the school and went through that pickup line area. Just add that. <laughs> and kind of, kind of piggyback on what Mr. Coons was saying. Um, just by the nature of um, where our 
pre-K building is. Uh, Y'all know where I'm talking about, the little modular building that has become pre-K now. Yes, sir. And next year, with student the enrollment going to be where it is, we're probably looking at uh, one of those uh, two houses, actually the one closest to the elementary, right across the street, that probably having to become a pre-K-3 building, okay? And uh, even though we try to keep them in-house as much as possible, you know, they're still gonna go to the cafeteria, still go to the library, still go to the big playground and what have you. And, you know, our teachers and aides are very, very conscientious about keeping them all together. But if you're if four year old, it's like my grandson, <laughs> four years old there, not always. And, you know, uh, uh, mm -hmm. su superintendent has uh, lays awake at night for three reasons, an intruder, a school bus wreck and a kiddo uh, getting hit in a in a pickup situation or a, on a school zone situation. So we think this would uh, be a safety, uh, a good safety move to help curtail that. All right, for clarity uh, of the council, y'all see here on Fifth Street, coming down Juanita by the tennis courts. Yes, sir. I've labeled that as speed bump number one, right in the Harkview driveway. So you come around the corner to uh, 4th Street. I put a number two there. I put a number three by the existing one uh, at the end of the uh, cafeteria. Mm -hmm. You uh, come on around to the parent pickup lane. That next one would be number four. And then you're taking a left on Juanita, and I label that as number five. Everybody good with that? Uh, number one, is there any more questions on number one? Uh, like I said myself, that show to be right in his driveway. Have y'all spoke to the Harkies about that any or? Yeah. Not yet, I will wait on clearance from y'all. I did uh, quite a while back, even when we were starting to do the road, we had talked about that. With JW? Mm -hmm. okay. Was he for against? That was even, yeah. That was even when the school, we were trying to buy his house <laughs> quite a while back. So yeah, we kind of had a initial master plan, if you will, kind of yes, uh, even before we started looking at the new Hornet gym, uh, possibly purchasing that property and then how we were gonna go about that. And if you've ever been up there on a, uh, on a tennis tournament day or something of that nature, oh my goodness. Yes. We're hoping the new road is gonna curtail some of that, but there's a lot of, a lot of traffic that comes in and out of there, a lot of kids going from that tennis court to the two tennis courts to the other tennis courts off of Fayette, so. Right. Um, Is there any possibility of moving that further away from it? Yeah, we could, we could move it back. I mean, you know, 10, 15 yards or what have you. Maybe say uh, perpendicular to like where the little, uh, um, uh, office area or the control area is for the tennis oh, courts, right. that may even be better. Yes, the only issue I see with that one is more that uh, a majority of our water comes from the tribute from the hills okay. from that area. Mm -hmm. uh, since y'all have retopped that street, that street looks like it's going to carry the water. Uh, is this going to push more water onto his property? Come to Mr. Harkey. I wouldn't think so, but I mean, it's like that when I talked to our engineer and our road construction guys. That's the concern it's gonna, there. You know, it's, 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 it, it was a very bad shape, old asphalt road, but it's still an asphalt road. Mm -hmm. So, and we did, you know, uh, where we truncated the road on running east and east and west on the south side mm -hmm. you know it still has a, a, a fall there to where you've got a permeable area there as well so if we did it further back uh, mm -hmm. to the west that may help that situation a little bit too yeah you might be able to set them apart a foot or so as well to allow that to run mm -hmm. since you're got them in sections mm -hmm. give it a break a gap between them instead of running a solid uh, mm -hmm. speed bump. Out of all of them, that would be my concern out of uh, all of these here. Would be the number, what I would be calling the number one. But isn't Harky up a 
Yeah, it would push it over in the slope. Yeah, his is going to push down into it, right? Not fall back on the top. Yeah, so now you can call the back up. I'm just looking at it here because uh, as the water comes down here, it, it starts leveling out pretty good right through there. Right, but isn't Harky, isn't his property high? Like just a little bit up higher? I mean, yeah, if, he, if you get standing there, of course, it's going to come up on him. I'm talking about property. Where does the property start? So some of this elevation is down. If this does block water, would you want your driveway to be underwater every time you came in or out? That's what I'm asking. Yeah. Let me make one point, Bill. Uh, keep in mind that we excavated, you know, all of the asphalt there, mm -hmm. and uh, engineers and everybody when they came in and did the survey, the ele the actual elevation of the new road is awfully close to the same elevation of the previous road, if that makes sense what I'm saying. So it's not like we, you know, not added no, no, this I, I, much, you know, three and a half, four inches of compacted asphalt on top of that, that would just fall off there. It's basically the same elevation as it was before. And that's something we had talked to the engineers about. <clears throat> Does any of the council have any questions? On any of these, Mr. Councilman, you're We also, whenever we started, before we started the excavation, um, Mr. McDowell and I, and uh, uh, matter of fact, we had a couple of city guys out there at that time, um, and talking to Mr. Harkey, talking about our game plan, what we were going to do, and everything, allowing him to use my deer in the construction and everything else. And he mm -hmm. didn't seem to have any heartburn there, so. Oh, would you like to make a motion with your clarity on that one? Does anybody have a motion? I'll make a motion to allow the Herring County Independent School District to add four more rubber speed bumps on 4th Street, 3rd Street, and Juanita, respectively. What total? They're going to add four, not 1st Street. The one was already there. Right? Yes, correct. That's why I said four. <coughs> a second. And two. I have a motion and a second. Yes. All in favor? All in favor, motion carries. Thank you. Thank you all very much, Mayor Taylor. Uh, may I extend my gratitude from my chair to your outgoing chair? So <laughs> thank you all. Thank you. Supper, guys. Right. Right. Uh, number nine. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. Administrative report.